Postseason football time here. Mike Wilson joined by Adam Sparks. We're breaking down the Vols heading into the postseason with a lot of different bowl opportunities. It's fluctuated, Adam, in the past, what, 10 days or so. You know, we're talking going to South Carolina, CFP, Phoenix, Atlanta, which is South Carolina. You're talking you're going to plummet to a Florida Bowl. Now it seems to have narrowed a little bit here into New York New Year's Six Bowls. Where do we think the balls might head now? Yeah, the stock was up, and then after the South Carolina game, it dropped down uh, as low as probably the Citrus Bowl, maybe, and then it's it's back up. In which that was not a given. I mean, going into this game, Tennessee could have been sort of just flatlined in sort of the Cotton Bowl, maybe. And by everything that happened today, there were four top ten teams that lost. Three of them will drop back behind Tennessee, I think. So Tennessee will move from like 10 to probably number seven. Uh, most importantly, LSU lost uh, to Texas A&M. So Tennessee moves up conceivably a spot in the SEC rankings. So you look at the three New Year's Six Bowls, they could, they could be in the Sugar, the Orange, and the Cotton, and that's usually where they're ranked. Um, Alabama looks like they're probably going to the Sugar because the Sugar takes the top ranked SEC team that's not in the playoff. But there's gonna be a lot of you know, discussion this week about should Alabama still be ahead of Tennessee? Probably will, but there's going to be some reasonable discussion because of that head-to-head -head yep. and the two resumes. Tennessee looks like they could go to the orange. They would move from the cotton to the orange, and and then discussions if they could go from the orange to the sugar. So so they're they're ascending right now when they had just been flatlined before. Any of those bowls would be good. Most people like the orange more because you're you're facing a power five team mm -hmm. as opposed to the cotton where you're facing. Uh, essentially the AAC champion. So better matchup. People like to go to Miami, maybe more than Dallas. I can kind of take either or. Um, but Tennessee improved its standing in the bowls, certainly today and with all that happened elsewhere. Yeah, barbecue versus beaches right. might, might be the conversation there. Right. We are talking cotton versus orange. Obviously still have that weekend of championship games to play. Say LSU beats Georgia. How, how might okay. that affect what, what happens for Tennessee after that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, at that point, you're probably Back pushing, to cotton. Well, you you may be pushing Alabama up yeah. into the playoff at that point, even though LSU beat them and mm -hmm. then Tennessee beat them both. That's a bigger I'm conversation. I'm on team chaos right here. <laughs> yeah, that's team a, chaos. I mean, a lot of things can happen. You're not going to, uh, the SEC is going to get Georgia in, and then we can mm -hmm. see after that. Uh, Tennessee at 10 and 2 is going to go to a New Year's Six yeah. Bowl. If you look at where the season, where the expectations were at the beginning of the season, I thought Outback, Citrus, eight and four, maybe nine and three, they've exceeded those expectations. I think of most people. Um, and if you only look at the cotton or orange or maybe even sugar as any of any bit of a letdown because you thought you were going to the playoff, which was, was within reach. But if you look at it in the totality of it, this is the level of bowl that Tennessee hasn't been to in almost two decades, and, and that's saying something, and that means this program's getting better. Stay tuned to Go Balls Extra and Knox News as we head toward a New Year's Six Bowl. Find out Miami, New Orleans, Dallas, a lot of possibilities on the table.